This is an update of the last video I did in April about the Arlo 5000 modification. What has changed is I replaced an Ultra 1 to an Ultra 2 camera and added 5 more meters of the antenna cable. I have also done signal measurements that I will present in this video. First a short recap. The Arlo VMB 5000 base station has a very bad signal with its tiny internal antennas. Arlo claim 90 meters or 300 feet but in reality with an Ultra 1 camera it is about half with a, with a window in between. And I did a very fast and lazy search and 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi is rated to 90 meters or 300 feet and 5 GHz for 30 meters or 100 feet. Also there is no need to use 5 GHz for the Ultra Series cameras. According to Arlo's own documentation, the camera needs 3 megabit upload. And that can 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi handle. And now for the antenna cables. Before I had 10 meters of LMR400 or CMR400 cables. And now I've extended it with 5 more meters and haven't noticed any difference in the signal strength. For the cameras now. One had to be replaced with an Ultra 2 camera because it didn't work with the foliage or the leaves on the trees. So before in the winter that Ultra 1 camera had one red dot in signal strength and now the Ultra 2 cameras have two dots even with the uh, leaves on the trees in between the base station and the camera. About the Ultra 1 camera, I fix it, did a teardown of it and identified the chip for the wireless signals and it does support 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi. So did um, Arlo disable 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi to get a selling point for the Ultra 2 camera? Just a question for me. Also, is there any form of teardown of the Ultra 2 camera? Does it have the same chip as the Ultra 1 camera? Now that out of the way, here's the chart from the last video with an error. The 38 meter camera didn't have any window in between. It was clear line of sight. With the pointing Omni 496 antennas that is used with this Arlo setup, I compared that signal with a Ubiquiti UAP ACM Unify access point Wi-Fi unit that has two small antennas. And I measured the signal strength with a Android application called Wi-Fi Analyzer. Sadly, I don't remember if the Wi-Fi was on during all the tests or as the numbers show, it did perform so much worse. You can look here at the numbers, but I want to show that at 60 meters, the signal was minus 78 decibels for 2.4 GHz and an Ultra 2 camera works there. With that information, it means that an Ultra 2 camera should work at 90 meters at clear line of sights, as these numbers show here, you can see. Or if not even further away from the antennas. So for this system, now it performs as, like me and many other Ultra 1 buyers, believed that this was the performance of what Arlo claimed. And that was with the base station inside and with clear line of sight and with a window in between. And a comment about the antennas. They are probably overkill, but they were the only ones that I could get my hands on that was good quality. And now for an ending rant. I would like Arlo to update the Ultra system so it uses the local Wi-Fi instead of its own Wi-Fi, unlock 2.4 GHz for the Ultra 1 cameras if it's possible, and make a power over Ethernet model and then also integrate storage in the cameras so if the camera lose the connection to the Wi-Fi it still can record for a couple of hours or more even a day or so maybe and then upload it when it gets connection again. These small things would make this Arlo system with these ultra cameras so much better. I have more thoughts about this system but that's not for this video. And this is the end of this update. If you have any questions or comments you can write them down below.